So let's just start by testing the new web browser capabilities. Let me go ahead and uh, refresh the page. And guys, as you can see, I'm using now Chromium 72. And uh, if I zoom out, we can go to detect my browser. Let's check it out. So let's see what capabilities the new Tesla browser has. So again, it says I'm using Chrome 72 on Linux. Gives me the bit depth and the resolution, capabilities. All these plugins are disabled. In terms of audio capabilities, this is what we get. CSS free capabilities. Advanced HTML5 interface. And HTML5's forms. So let's check out how fast this thing is, you know. Uh, right now I'm connected to my Wi-Fi at home, but the signal is really weak. So let's see what happens. Let me zoom out again. And let's go to a heavy, graphics heavy page, like let's say The Verge. And everything loads fast, way faster than before. So I'm not sure. Okay, it's loading now. Let me turn off Wi Fi. So let's just switch it off. Wi Fi settings off. And now I'm. Um, on LTE so just to rule out any possible for Wi-Fi issues from home so you can see like it's really smooth now you know even on LTE this thing is really smooth which is really nice you know it didn't do that before so let's try to open one of these pages let's see what this is all about let's try again page is loading and voila nice so I wish there was like an ad block or something that you can switch off some of these ads save you some of the bandwidth and uh, accelerate the page loading um, if you go to like uh, Engadget Let's see how Engadget perform. And Engadget is also heavy, so let's try it out. And boom. Way faster than before, guys. And the web pages, they render really good. Now it's loading the graphics. So my bet is that even on the um, onboard LTE, um, this thing is really nice. Loads really fast. So let's pick up maybe this page. Boom. Wow. That's really nice. Thank you, Tesla team. Really, thank you. I mean, now I can use the web browser. Let's check out this one. And voila. It's a huge difference from, you know, the previous one. And um, 
If you go to like a website that does not have a lot of graphics, like let's say you're going to the Tesla forums and uh, you want to check, you know, some issues or you want to report some some things. So I'm gonna go to it. It's really more like text based, so it should load really fast. And boom. It's probably as fast as my uh, computer at home. So this is how fast the new web browser is, guys. It's really nice. Um, there aren't any like settings or anything you can do, so you can kind of like bookmark a page or favorite or whatever, but not so much settings that you can do. I tried to do the Chroma flag, but that didn't work. So when I do this, um, I don't get anything, you know. So it doesn't work, you know. Nothing happens, and if you put like maybe about, nothing happens either. Let's check out maybe Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera, Arabic, see if Arabic is now supported. Although I doubt because it wasn't added to the list of languages, so as you can see, it's all gibberish right now all square boxes. I really hope Tesla can do something about language Arabic support. Wow, wow, we got it now. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Arabic renders really well on the web pages, but uh, for some reason it doesn't show up here on the main Google page. So probably some fonts issues Tesla could resolve. So guys, that was a quick tour of the new web browser and the Tesla 2019.12 update. I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you have any comments or feedback or if you want me to try something for you feel free to ask me in the comments till then have a great day take care peace